Hi there, Greg Holmeson, Philippines Recruitment. And today's update is all about our frequently asked questions. So I've just compiled the top 10 questions that we get asked on a daily basis to try and help you out with understanding all things Philippines Recruitment. The first question is always, do you have anyone available now in the country? The answer for the last 12 months has been no. There's no Filipinos that we have anything to do with that are available in the country at the moment. How long does the process take is the second question. And we are now talking about six months, depending on whether or not the candidates need a trade skills assessment or a Cert 3 as required by immigration. And about 90% of our people do. So that process in itself is three to four months. So the entire process is about six months. How much does it cost? Um, and it's around about $20,000 per person. Most of these fees are government and skills assessment fees and, and uh, flights, but it's around about $20,000 depending on the size of the company that they're coming into and what the trades skill requirement is. More on that with details we can provide later. Um, the next one is, what if something goes wrong? Well, we have a guarantee of two years for our candidates, but on the whole, mostly our candidates are seen um, as long-term, lifelong employees. And we've got, um, it's not 100%, but it's pretty close success rate with all of our candidates. One of the big things that we focus on um, is around permanent residency. And for candidates to get permanent residency, they need to stay with the same employer for three years. So that means that you're pretty much guaranteed that the, that the candidate will hang around for at least three years the permanent residency application takes about a year, so it's pretty much four years, which is the life of the visa. Um, how much do I pay the candidates is the next question. And you pay someone the same as you would pay any local doing the exact same job. Next question, uh, health insurance. So yes, uh, the candidates do need to provide their own health insurance as part of their visa um, requirements. We actually set them up with health insurance before they leave the Philippines. We also set up bank accounts, tax file numbers and superannuation just to make sure that they're ready to hit the ground running when they arrive. Uh, do they bring their family out? And the answer to that is no, not initially but eventually this is something that they would like to do. They can, on their visa, bring family out, but it's not something they do straight away. They come out first, get themselves settled, and then family may come out a year or two later. This is part of what Filipinos do, and it's very um, accepted that that's what they do. They leave their family behind, and they'll go back each year to visit their family for, for holidays, for four weeks. Um, Skills, okay, so the next, how, how do you know, how do I know that the skills are right will be the next question. Well, we um, skills assess everyone in the Philippines. Now, this is a big question now with COVID and no one traveling. So we don't leave any stone unturned to confirm that the skills are right. The process is too big and too long and too arduous and too costly for someone to turn up without having the skills. So we work with our clients, we have trade skills assessors and trainers in the Philippines, but we also work with our clients on interviews and any testing that we can do up there to ensure that the skills are right to start with. Um, and the next one is English. How good uh, is their English? Well, all of the Filipinos are educated, their high school education is all in English. And as a standard, we get everyone to sit an English test at just as we start the process. So once we've confirmed someone's skills on paper, we ask them to sit an English test before we then go on with any other testing at all. And then the last question I love getting is, when can I start? And I say my answer is you can start anytime you like, um, but our experience is, the uh, skill shortage is getting worse and worse. Um, the process is taking longer and longer. And if you start now, we're saying, you know, maybe six or seven months. If you don't start now, you're not going to be seeing someone until mid next year. So let's get on with it is what I say. Again, my name's Greg Holmeson. Thanks very much for listening. And I look forward to working with you. Cheers.